death toll is continuing to rise. Now, more than 20 Americans are confirmed dead as the terror in the Holy Land heads into the fifth day Wednesday. Catholic authorities are pleading for peace in a place that connects Jews, Muslims, and Catholics to their roots of faith. But as Current News' Jessica Easthope reports, the concern over civilian lives is growing. Almost all of Gaza in total darkness. Overnight, officials announcing the area's only power plant is out of fuel to provide electricity as civilians cope with dwindling supplies of food and water and no internet access. This as the Israeli Defense Force is assembling troops to prepare for a ground invasion of Gaza, all while continuing to attack the region by air in an effort to weaken Hamas's control. In a rare government move, Israel has formed an emergency war cabinet. We've never seen such savagery in the history of the state. Prime Minister and Benjamin Netanyahu will lead the group made up of some opposition leaders. It was created to make swift and effective security and defense decisions. More than 360,000 reservists have been called up to join Israel's fight against Hamas, one of the largest mobilizations of troops in its history. Hamas is still claiming to hold more than 150 hostages following Saturday's surprise attack along the Gaza border, prompting Pope Francis to make an urgent appeal for peace. Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Padolin condemned Hamas's terroristic tactics, saying it only hurts the free Palestine cause. Unfortunately, terrorism, violence, barbarism and extremism undermine the legitimate aspiration of Palestinians and Israeli. Pope Francis asked Israel to show control in its military response, which he described as excessive. Jessica Easthope, Currents News. The first plane carrying U.S. weapons arrived in Israel Tuesday night. The IDF thanked the United States for their support, saying the ammunition will allow for, quote, significant blows. That's not the only support the U.S. has sent. A carrier group is now in the Mediterranean. The White House said they hope this stops any other countries from escalating the war. At the same time, an anonymous New Yorker is trying to help Israel get reinforcements. The man purchased 240 plane tickets at JFK Airport Monday for anyone who showed him their Israeli Defense Force call-up notice. And apparently he's not the only one. A spokesperson from El Al Airlines said there are a lot of people coming to their counters trying to buy tickets for soldiers. If you want to help the innocent victims on both sides of the violence, you can donate to the International Red Cross at icrc.org and click Donate Now. Now to the Diocese of Brooklyn. A Gowanus church that was falling apart is now whole again. The pastor of Our Lady of Peace, Father Orlando Ruiz, says the ceiling of the church was almost split in half. The deep cracks were causing debris to fall down during mass, so the parish saved up. And after filling in the cracks and giving the walls a new coat of paint, they now have a church that is like brand new. Father Ruiz says the new facelift fits the feeling of those parishioners in the pews. We are proud to say that we are capable and able to maintain our place of worship as more dignified as possible for the people to have a great experience. And speaking of those pews, Father Ruiz says he also hopes to refurbish them. St. Ephraim's Catholic Academy is getting a lesson in life. The Brooklyn School has a one-of-a-kind hydroponics lab that allows students to grow plants in a unique way. Current News' Katie Vasquez has that story from Diker Heights. Students sing science in action. Three drops of that uh, so in there. See there. It's red. Getting their hands dirty, but not with actual dirt. I didn't think that was possible. I always thought that you had to have it put in soil and water it. This is St. Ephraim Catholic Academy's hydroponics lab, a technique that uses water to grow plants rather than soil. That they just put something in a little bit of rock wool and then the next day they got food out of it. The Brooklyn School started the lab in September after receiving a $20,000 grant. Principal Michael Phillips says they are one of only a few in the diocese to have this space. So it really differentiates us in the grand scheme of things to show that we're really thinking outside the box. The students are growing kidney beans, tomatoes, arugula, butter lettuce, and blueberries, and their hard work. Cheers. Cheers. 
is finally producing some results. It's been very fun when we've been planting the seeds, putting all the plants, watering them, like putting them finally seeing roots and all that. But this lab is about more than just plants. It's learning about God's most precious gift, life. I want to provide them the opportunity to not only learn science, but learn it in a hands-on approach, but also with real life experiences. If their crop yields a hearty harvest, the school hopes to donate the food to the community or offer a farmer's market for parents. In Diker Heights, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. That is so cool. And finally tonight, a young Catholic in North Carolina has started his own business making a unique type of rosary beads. 15-year-old Will Henry is the founder of Rings of the Lord, a company that specializes in Irish penal rosaries. The small beads were created during a time in Irish history when Catholicism was not allowed and were meant to hide in a person's hand. But now the teen, along with his brother, have been handmaking and shipping the special rosaries across the U.S. for almost three years. Will says the best part of his job is seeing how his work is helping to spread the faith. A lot of the part that kind of makes fills me with joy is seeing that the rosary is doing what it's supposed to be doing. The better um, rosaries we have in the world and the more Mary can affect people through the rosary, like the actual rosary, um, it can produce much more good um, and benefits than almost any other not any other devotion, I would say, but a lot of devotions. Rings of the Lord has now expanded their shipping to Canada and Europe and will plans to continue growing his business. So if you want your own set of rosaries, just go to ringsofthelord.com. Will says they are out of stock right now, but they are still accepting orders since new materials for the rosaries will be coming soon. Do you know someone with an amazing story like Will's? Email it to us at newstips at desalesmedia.org. You can also call our 24-hour number. That's 718-517-3122. And that is this current news update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news. Hope to see you again next time.